In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate the deflection of this beam at the hinge using the conjugate beam method. First, let's do a cursory review of this method. The basic idea is to convert the real beam to an equivalent conjugate beam by changing the beam segment's boundary conditions. How do we do this conversion? By using this table. For example, as you can see here, a fixed end in the real beam converts into a free end in the conjugate beam. A free end converts into a fixed end. An internal hinge turns into a roller, and so on. We then draw the moment diagram for the real beam. Divide the moment values by EI, then place the M over EI diagram as a distributed load on the conjugate beam. According to the conjugate beam method, slope in the real beam is the same as shear in the conjugate beam, and deflection in the real beam is equal to moment in the conjugate beam. Since in this problem we want to determine deflection at B, we need to calculate moment at point B in the conjugate beam. To start, we need to draw the moment diagram for the real beam. To do so, first we need to calculate the support reactions at A and C. Since there is an internal hinge at B, we divide the beam into two segments and draw the free body diagram for each segment. Here are the equilibrium equations for the right segment. Solving them for the unknown forces, we get Now that we know Bx and By, Let's redraw the free body diagram for the left segment. Here are the equilibrium equations for the segment. Solving them for the unknown forces, we get Now we are ready to draw the shear and moment diagrams for the real beam. Here is the shear diagram, and here is the moment diagram. We convert the moment diagram to a distributed load for the conjugate beam. This is done by dividing M by EI. Since moment is positive between A and B, we show the arrows between A and B in the upward direction. Moment is negative elsewhere. Hence, it is treated as a negative force between B and D. That means the arrows are pointing downward. Now let's draw the conjugate beam. According to our table, the fixed end at A turns into a free end. The hinge at B becomes a roller. The roller at C turns into an internal hinge, and the free end at D becomes a fixed end. Here is the conjugate beam subjected to a distributed load represented by the M over EI diagram. We want to determine the deflection of the real beam at B. Therefore, we need to calculate the internal moment at B in the conjugate beam. In this case, there is no need to calculate the reactions of the conjugate beam. We can cut the beam just to the left of B, draw the free body diagram of segment AB, write the equilibrium equations, then solve them in order to find the internal moment we are looking for. Here is the free body diagram for segment AB. Let's set the sum of the moments about B to zero. Solving this equation for MB, we get Therefore, deflection at B in the real beam is Assuming the unit of length is meter, the deflection is given in meter. The positive sign indicates that the beam deflects upward at B. Here is a graphical representation of the result.